right, so welcome, welcome, welcome to another awesome episode of the Ash Cash Show. Every Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Make sure you go to the AshCashShow.com to subscribe to the podcast. Go to AshCashTV.com to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We had 934 subscribers. Uh, we still need 999 fans. We need FOMO. We still need about, uh, what's that? Do the math real quick. That's about 66. So we still need about 66 um, um, subscribers on the YouTube channel. So please, please, please go to AshCashTV.com. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like this, this, this video. Share it. Tag your friends. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Uh, the Ash Cash Show is about financial motivation, right? All inspiration, no hype. Uh, and so we are here uh, to give you a positive word, the real word, a positive word as it relates to your finances, as it relates to living your best life, as it relates to you just being the best you that you could possibly be. Uh, and so I'm glad that you guys have allowed me into your households, allowed me into your space uh, to really just provide uh, provide that. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, if this is your, if you're coming back, then welcome back. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for rocking with us. Um, and so if you uh, are familiar with the format or not, um, understand that the format is three segments. Uh, segment number one, uh, we do an inspirational word of the day. Segment number two is financial news. And then segment number three uh, is uh, uh, any questions that you may have. So if you're watching this on YouTube, Facebook, uh, uh, Twitter, Twitch, uh, you can please put your questions in the comment box. If you're watching this uh, or, or yeah, yeah, the comment box, if you're watching this on IG Live, please put your questions in the uh, question box uh, right underneath or like on, on, on the bottom somewhere. Uh, all right, cool. So let, let's start off with the inspirational word of the day. And so I just posted this. So I told you all yesterday, uh, this was originally going to be what, what I was going to start the week off, but uh, spirit, spirit moved me in a different direction. Um, but on Sunday, right, on Sunday I was having a um, – I was just like reflecting really, right? I was, I was, I was doing a reflection, you know, just kind of sitting and reflecting and just, you know, just kind of thinking of things. Um, thinking about some of my goals, thinking about uh, stuff that I wanted to accomplish, and, and actually stuff that I, I'm actually accomplishing. Like even during um, this, you know, th this pandemic, um, th things are actually moving. And, and so I'm not, I'm not the guy that you know, like I don't like to talk about stuff um, while they're happening. Uh, I like to talk about stuff after, like when the, when the things uh, are signed and sealed. Uh, but I have a lot of stuff in the works, like good, like big stuff, good, not big stuff, because I got, I don't, you know, big and small. Uh, really, really, I'm trying to get rid of that notion of big and small. Um, and if anybody read the uh, A Course of Miracles, you'll understand why. Um, so I'm trying to get get rid of the, no the notion of big and small. But I have I have some things in the works. Right? I have some things uh, that are in the works. Some things that are um, some some good things that I that I I would you know I desire um, working through a lot of stuff. Um, and so as I started thinking about all the things that are happening, this thought just kind of flashed through my mind, um, and the thought said. That um, you know, if you if you focus on your goals, you have a 50, 50, 50 shot of of achieving your goals. But if you focus on the process, you you know you're guaranteed success, right? And so I was like, nah, that's crazy, right? Like why? Like how is that? Like and and again, it just came to me, right? It just like came, and I was like, why is that? Like why is it that if I focus on my goals, I got a 50, 50 shot? of achieving it but if i focus on a process i'm guaranteed success right and so here's the deal right and here, here's the deal and this is what, what i want everybody to realize and this is the the word of the day right what i want you to realize is that a lot of times um i'll give you an example right if you were uh if you wanted to go somewhere right if you wanted to go somewhere and you you know it's old school days you pull out a map and the map is telling you where to go, right? And you are at point A, right? And then you look at the top of the top of where you need to go as point B, right? If you were going from point A to point B and you're focusing on point B, think about it. You got a 50-50 shot of getting there. Why is that? Because, right, you are at A 
and you're focusing on B, and so there's a op- there's a possibility while you're looking at B, while you're focusing on B, while you're thinking about B, right? There's a possibility that you might take the wrong turn somewhere, right? There's a possibility that you might actually get to your destination, so that's 50%, but there's a possibility that you might take a wrong turn somewhere because you're, fo- you're so focused on B, right? You're so focused on B. You're so focused on your destination that you might, you might, you might take a wrong turn. You might not, you know, you might not get there, right? But what if, what if you said forget B, right? What if you said, yo, I'm at point A and here's point B and here are the steps I need to take in order to get to point B, right? Here are the steps I need to take to, 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 to get to point B. And now instead of focusing on point on, 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 on B, you like, yo, I'm going to focus on each of these steps. Oh, step one is to do this. Step two is to do this. Step three is to do that. Step four is to do that. Step five is to do that. If you follow the steps, a.k.a. follow the process, you will you will no doubt, is without a doubt, get to point B. Without a doubt. You will not a doubt get to point B. But before you get to point B, you have to you have to follow the process. And so the biggest mistake that people make, they focus too much on their big goals and not on the process, right? You got to focus on the process because if you focus on the goal, right? If you say, yo, I want to make half a million dollars this year, right? I want to make half a million dollars this year. And I could, I could focus on half a million. I could be like, yo, half a million dollars, yo, half a million dollars, half a million dollars, half a million dollars. I I could, I could say it. I could focus on it. I could be like half a million dollars. But if I stay in my bed, right? If I stay in my bed all day meditating, half a million dollars, half a million dollars, half a million dollars, right? If I meditate on half a million dollars, 50-50 shot, it doesn't mean it's not going to happen because I can meditate. I promise you, I can meditate $50 million, $50 million, $50 million. Or or I said half a million, right? Half a million dollars, half a million dollars, half a million dollars, right? I can meditate it and I got 50-50 shot, right? Half a million dollars may not show up because I'm doing nothing or somebody might call me with a half a million dollar deal. I may, you know what I mean? Like, so there's a 50, 50 shot of me, of, of me getting that right. 50 million, right? 50, if you get that, we like 50 million, 50 million dollars, 50 million dollars, 50 million dollars, or, or, or if I focus on the process. If I say, yo, make a half a million dollars this, this year. And in order for me to make half half a million dollars this year, I want to sell. I want to focus on getting a thousand people, eleven hundred people to buy a product that I offer at four ninety seven. That's my process. So every single day, right? I and and, and it's not it's not saying that I, I I'm not putting the goal in my mind's eye. No, right? I have affirmations. I know where I'm going. Okay, yo, I can't wait till I get here. I'm going here. I'm going here, right? You're putting that in your mind's eye, but what is the process of getting there, right? I need 1,100 people to buy a product that costs 497 right? And so now I broke, I know my number. I broke down, broke my number down, right? Faith without works is dead, right? Faith without works is dead, so you can have all the faith in the world, but with that faith, you're going to be guided to do some things. And if you don't listen, your faith is dead, right? And so and so now that faith or that works that comes with the faith is what's called the process. That's what it's that's what the process is called, right? The process is the works. The process is the works. And so if you're not put it in the works then how are you going to how are you going to match your faith how are you going to get what you what you put out there right and so at the end of the day right at the end of the day i'm going to read the quote again right at the end of the day focusing on your goal 
gives you a 50-50 shot of achievement. Focusing on the process guarantees your success. If you focus on the process, and, I, and, I, and I'm going to give you a, a little tip about focusing on the process, right? When you are focusing on the process, it does not close the door to the miracles. What? What are you talking about, Ash Cash? If you, if you focus on the process, it does not close the door to the miracles. Let me tell you, right? So now you got this goal. You're like, yo, I want to make I want to make half a million this year, half a million, half a million. So I want to sell 1,100 products at 497. Does that mean that the universe automatically gets out of the of the blessing business? That because you're focused on this on this thing right here, that you still can't get the call for a half a million dollar uh, deal? Absolutely, you can. You absolutely can. Right. Like, I promise you, there's been many a times where I because so, that's the thing, right? Your job is only to demonstrate to God in the universe that you're willing to do what is necessary to get what you've asked for. Right. And in that in that demonstration. God is going to throw you the alley you all the time. It's never failed. I, I have no doubt in my mind. I say this with all clarity. I have no doubt in my mind. There's been many times where I thought my path was this way, and I'm like, yo, this is how I'm going to get it, right? This is how I'm going to get it. Yo, God, I, yo, this is how I'm going to get it. And so now, right, I got faith. I know I'm going to get it because God, 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 God put it in me. Pause. I mean, it's not a pause, but you know what I'm saying? I know I'm going to get it, right? I know I'm going to get it because God gave me the dream, right? God gave me this, the, the aspiration. God told me this is what I was going to get. So I have no doubt I'm going to get it. And so I say, yo, this is how I'm going to get it. I'm going to go this route. And I'm going, going, going. And then while I'm, while I'm going, I'm failing. I'm picking. I'm failing. I'm doing. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm being. I'm doing. Right? And while I'm doing that, God like, all right, I, I see you, fam. I see you. All right, here you go. All right. You, you, you demonstrated that you really want this. Right? Here you go. That's it. Right? Knock on the door and it's something easy. Something, something that something I'm like, ah, do I regret doing that? No. Because had I had I not gone in that direction, right? I would have not attracted the help from God from the universe. You know what I'm saying? Like I I wouldn't I wouldn't have been able to right to get that tap on the shoulder because I I wasn't demonstrating right that I'm willing to take a step like think about this <clears throat> think about this anybody on the entrepreneurial journey y'all could probably relate or maybe not right uh when I first started out as an entrepreneur uh I used to like ask people for help all the time you know what I'm saying Scott Randall what up my G I used to ask people for help all the time. I used to be like, yo, I got this idea. Yo, can you help me? Yo, I got this idea, blah, 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 right? And some people would listen to my idea. Body by Briscoe, what up, my G? Um, some people would listen to my idea, right? Some people would listen to my idea. Some people like, oh, that's cool. Like, you know what I mean? But sometimes people would um, not help. You know what I'm saying? Ashley Nicole Show, what's up? 100 gangland, 1-800 gangland, what's up, right? So sometimes people would would help, right? Sometimes people would help, some pe sometimes people wouldn't help, right? But but I all I had was an idea. And then I it, it almost felt like with my idea, I was like begging people to like see me. Like, yo, please, I need your help. Like, please, like it was like I was begging people, right? Then I just got frustrated one day and was just like, yo, you know what? F everybody. I'm talking about everybody. I'm like, yo, F everybody. I'm not asking nobody for nothing. I'm asking nobody for nothing. I'm just going to put my head down. I'm going to grind and I'm going to get it. Like, world, world, y'all closing doors on me. Y'all want to, I, yo, F everybody. Yo, I'm just out here, right? And that moment, um, I had that, I had that epiphany, that moment that I just started putting my head down and I just started going. Yo, people were begging to help me. I'm talking about begging to help me. Like, people just started seeing my results from not worrying about help, not worrying about people. 
like 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 I just I just put my head down. I just start going. I was writing the books. I was like I was just going. And then once I got there, yo, people were begging me. People were like, yo, I see what you're doing, fam. Yo, you need help. Yo, yo, you you want this? Yo, I got I got this guy, right? And the truth of the matter, I'm not even mad at that, right? Because people don't want to be part of ideas. Nobody, nobody, nobody want to go on a train that's sitting at the station. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody, nobody want to, nobody, nobody want to go to the train and just sit at the station and stare at the and stare at the station all day. They want to get on a train that's going somewhere. They want to get on a train that's moving. Stand clear to closing doors, please. That's what the that's the train they want to get on. And so nobody wanted to get in my nobody wanted to get on my train when I was when I had this idea, when I was just sitting down. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody wanted nobody wanted that train. Nobody cared about the Yo, you know how many people laughed at me? You know how many people told me? You know how many pe people told me that nobody would take me serious cuz my name was Ash Cash? You know how many people told me that? Like, Ash Cash, like, who would take you serious? When it was an idea, it was an idea. I was like, yo, I don't, you know, like, from a marketing perspective, it's easy to remember. I was, like, trying to convince people to do stuff. They was like, yo, people people didn't want to get on that train when it was just sitting there. Nobody wanted to be on that Ash Cash train because it was sitting in, in on the platform. But I promise you, I promise you, you know what I'm saying? Oh no, this is the wrong one. Cause I, cause I actually got mine right. Uh, this is my certificate. Fast shout to my, my my attorney, KJ Killer KJ. Right, but 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 it's somewhere down there if I can find it. But Ash Cash is a registered trademark. Ash Cash is a registered trademark with the with the United with the with the United States of America United States Patent and Trademark Office, because the train is moving. Eight books later, the train is moving, right? Four, four bestsellers later, the train is moving, right? Thousands of books sold later, the train is moving. Hundreds of thousands of people who have, who have been blessed somehow by this word, the train is moving, right? Uh, every media out, outlet you ever think of, the train is moving. Google Ash Cash, the train is moving, right? And why am I saying that? I'm saying that because I get I get requests for help all the time. Like people want to help me all the time, and I receive it though. And it's I'm, it's not a brag. It's not a I'm not. There's no chip on my shoulder because all I'm saying is that it wasn't until I started to show that I was actually doing something that what 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 I was doing was actually viable, right, is when people wanted to help, right? You know, my guy F. Most has this saying that everybody wants to be first to be second, right? Everybody want, wants to be first to be second. What does that mean, right? Like, no, they don't want to be the first one to show that they, they believe in you. They want to be the first to be second. Go ahead, prove it first. Go ahead, go out there and prove it first. Show me that... You're viable, and then once you show once you show me that you're viable, then I got you. Right? They want to be first to be second. And why 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 am I even saying this? Because it's a similar thing, right? With the with God in the universe, right? It's because faith without works is dead. And so God has given you, right? God has given you this ability to max out. God didn't give you the ability to just sit on the platform. God didn't give you the ability to sit on the platform. And so while you're, you know, you're on the platform with this idea and thinking about it and seeing how it's going to work or whatever, God said, go. God said, demonstrate to me that you that you willing to put faith, right? Put works in this faith, right? This faith, this, this thing that I gave you. Prove to me. God, universe, like, yo, prove to me, demonstrate that you're willing to put actions behind what you actually believe. And once that train start moving, I pro I got you. I give you everything you need. I give you everything you need. Everything. 
And so that what, what is it? The mustard seed, right? You got to have faith like a mustard seed. You don't even got to see the whole thing. All you got to know is that this dream was put in you. And then you got to just go. You got to know that it's done, though. It's done already. Right? Like the moment that the moment that the dream was put in you, the moment that you say, yo, I'm going to make half a million dollars this year. Even at the time, if it sounds ridiculous. Yo, it was it was it was put into you for a reason. Don't don't doubt anything. Right. If you're going to if, you, if, 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 if you're going to doubt anything, doubt your your limits. So the moment it was put into you. Oh, there we go. It's done. It's done. No, what I'm saying. The moment, right, the moment that it was put into you, pause, is the moment that it's done. And now all you have to do is follow through with that faith, right? The only thing you have to do now is to follow through with that faith. Because the reason why you're not following through is because you probably don't believe you're going to get it, right? If, 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 you, if you were given a vision that you're going to make hundred thousand dollars this year the only thing that's stopping you from from taking a step towards that hundred thousand dollars because you don't believe you're gonna get it so you're like oh you know what if I put in all this work and, no, and nothing happens what if I start working on this business and nobody buys the business what if I write this book and nobody da, da, da. that's what you're afraid of you afraid you're afraid of rejection you're afraid of failing but that's not showing faith because I promise you, there, there were many a time. Like I, re, I remember my first time on radio, and then, and then I'll, I'll, I'll jump off this so topic, right? I remember my first time on radio. I so so I'm, I, I'll t I'll tell you how this thing happened, right? I had this vision on being on radio, and I was like, yo, I, I would love to be have my own radio show, right? I had this vision, uh, and then as I as I started to focus on radio, focus on radio, focus on radio, I was reaching out to all these radio stations uh doing like back it was you know back in 2010 i, I want to say so i was doing uh at the time you needed uh what do you call them the check tape air check uh, air check right so i was doing all these air checks i was trying to connect with all my friends in radio i was trying to like get them to put me on radio blah blah, blah and nothing right but i didn't stop right i you know got on blog talk radio i got on um, you know, podcasts. I got on internet radio. I was doing all these things. I was showing my faith. I was showing my faith, right? The works of my faith. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, out of nowhere, I get a tap on the shoulder. One of my friends, Deja Vu in New York. Yo, Ash, me, me and Earthquake got this show on WBLS every, every, every day. And we, I want to bring you in to have a, a conversation about money. I was like, oh, okay, bet. So what So what happens? I go, and I, I go on a show, you know. Now I'm on their show, and this is a nationally, this is, no, they, they weren't syndicated yet, but this is like one of the biggest radio stations in New York. And so New York is the biggest, you know, uh, market in, you know, in, in the country. And so now I go, to, I, I go to WBLS, and now I'm on WBLS. I do one interview with them. Yo, the ratings went out throughout the roof, right? Because I was talking that talk. I was doing what God told me to do. I was talking that talk. They was like, yo, phone lines were on fire. Like, people wanted to ask you mad questions. You were, you were, you were so passionate. Yo, this on fire. So I was like, yo, dope, right? So what happened? I get a text the following week. Yo, Ash, yo, yo can you come through? Yo, people are requesting you. Yo, can you come through again? Oh, sure, I could come through. Of course, I could come through. Came again. M bodied it. Murdered it. Yo, deja vu again. Yo, Ash. Yo, can you come through again? And so for three months straight, you understand what I'm trying to tell y'all? Tell you, be, be, be honest with y'all. For three months straight, I had a recurring role as a financial expert on WBLS. Right? I wasn't too good for blog talk radio. I wasn't too good for internet radio because I had to show the works. I had to show that I was able to hold down a segment on one of the largest markets, right? 
it's, it was one of the biggest drive time, you know, it's this earthquake, the comedian earthquake and deja vu. Like, they show was popular, bro. They was popular, right? And so for three months straight, I did that. And then what happens? I get a call, right? People are hearing me now. So now I'm getting mad publicity. I get a call from WHCR, 90.3 FM New York, saying that they want a show. Uh, they want pe- somebody to do a show um, on finances, and my name kept coming up. And so now I go from a one hour, you know, from a from a like a, a 15, 20 minute segment to now having my own show. And even though, you know, WHCR isn't wasn't or isn't as big as WBLS, it's still my own show. What I requested for in the beginning on radio. That you could go to you could go to ninety three you know, ninety point ninety point point three FM, right? And so now what happens there though? What happens there is that with my own show, I now create my own podcast. And with my own podcast, I now take this one little show and I'm and I'm on radio for four years straight. Four years straight. Top podcasts, doing all this stuff, all because I was obedient and followed through. Right. And so now let's fast forward. I'm going to be a prophet. I'm going to tell I'm going to tell y'all I'm going to tell y'all a little secret. I'm going to tell y'all a little secret. I'm going to be a prophet because y'all witnessing something. And so remember, I told you this. Remember, I told you this. I'm going I'm I'm to I'm 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 prophesy for a second. So same thing happens with, with what, what you're watching right now, what you're listening to right now. The same thing has happened and will happen with this. Right. I'm going to prophesy it. So now. Radio, I moved, I, I go from New York, I moved to Atlanta, and I and and I say, yo, I want to be on television now. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna be on television. I want my own finance show on television. And I started to reach out to companies. To everybody, I'm not even gonna name them. I started reaching out to companies uh, that I have connections with, you know, and I was like, yo, what's up? Yo, it should be a dope idea. Y'all should do a daily finance show and I should host it. Right? Reaching out, reaching out, reaching out, reaching out, uh, pitching ideas, pitching ideas, pitching ideas. Same difference though. God said, "Yo, I gave, I gave you the idea, bro. I didn't give it to them. I gave it to you, bro. Why are you not executing? Why are you trying to wait on somebody to give it to you? Why are you not executing? Right? And so, birth this, birth what you're watching right now, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. to Ash Cash Show." Right. So now, right, if you go to AshCastTV.com, you see you see what I'm doing. You you understand the vision. You understand where I'm going with this. Right. And so now. After I want to say a month, after a month of doing it, after a month of doing it, I get a call. And I'm going to stop right there because I can't I can't I can't give you all more. I can't give you more. Right. Because that's just not how I do that. You know what I'm saying it's not how I do that. But I get a call about something that I'm working on. So, so, and 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 paperwork have been signed. It's just a matter of working out some details, right? But I tell I tell this to you to say this, right? Faith without works is dead. Whatever dream you're sitting on, whatever thing that you've been expi- inspired by, the fact that you keep trying to wait until it's perfect is disrespectful to the creator that put the dream in you. You are being disrespectful. You are being disrespectful. Now now I got to be real. Now I got to now I got now I got to give you big bro talk. Now I got to give you big bro talk. I'm giving you big bro talk. I'm talking to somebody, right? I'm talking to somebody today in this house. Now I got to give you big bro talk. I got to give you big bro talk. Because somebody who's watching this, who's listening to this right now, were, were giving, it, giving this tap on the shoulder, was, was giving this dream, they said, yo, go, go, go. And you, you, you keep trying to make it perfect. You keep trying to decide how it's going to go. When you keep getting that nudge, the nudge, it keep pushing you, telling you to go. But you keep waiting. You keep waiting for it to it for it to be perfect. You keep waiting to to have this grand vision of how it's going to be. You keep waiting. 
and you are being disrespectful to the creator that put that vision in you. You are being disrespectful right now. Because because it did not it did not tell you to make it perfect. Right? It said make it plain. Right? Write the vision and make it plain. That's it. Plain. It didn't say perfect. It didn't say write the vision and make it perfect. That's not what it said. It said make it plain. Plain means start. That means simple. That means simple. That means that means take a notebook out and just it means simple. That's all it means. It does it does not it does not mean perfect. And so you keep wait you're waiting. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Why what are you waiting for? Why are you waiting to make it perfect? Had I had I waited, right, to to be on radio and and, 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 and to be honest with you, all of it has been a trickle down effect. So I didn't, I didn't tell you how WBLS was the reason why What the FICO was the number one bestseller. I didn't tell y'all that. I didn't tell you that when, when, they, when, they, when they put me on WBLS, I was pitching this book. And so I didn't know how I was going to be a bestseller. I didn't know. I know I wanted it, though. I know I wanted to be a bestseller. I didn't tell y'all that. I didn't tell y'all that. I didn't tell y'all that. That exposure pushed me on, on, on so many different levels. What? You know what I'm saying? And so, you got to be obedient. You got to be obedient. You got to be obedient. Because that obedience, like you don't even understand how that obedience is leading you in the direction of what you actually asked for. It may not look like how you wanted it to look, right? It may not look like how you wanted it to look. Like, I didn't want to want to do lives. I'll be honest with y'all. I didn't want to do lives. Yo, I've, been, yo, I've been in this game for over 10 years doing the same stuff. Right? I was like, nah, like that's a step backwards. Like, why would I go live? I wanna I wanna deal. I wanna be on television. This ego talking. So I'm gonna be honest with y'all. That's ego talk. That's ego talk. I was like, nah, yo, I want a I want a television deal. And I had a television deal before, so nobody really knows that. I don't talk about that. But I had a two year two year deal with Lionsgate. Right? I'm like, yo, I'm bigger than that, yo. I need a television deal. And then what happens? What happens? Right? Money making wealth says you sitting on the bench waiting when you should have been in the game. Big facts, right? So now, right for me, I'm not I'm not displaying my talent. So think about this, right? I'm thinking that all the works that I've done, all the grind that I've put in, right, mattered for something. It does, and I'm not, I'm not taking nothing, nothing away from that. But I was like, nah, this is the way I'm going to do it. I already put in the work. Forget that, God. Faith without works is dead, but I put in work for 10 years, God. It's ego talking. I put in I put in work for 10 years, God. I already got bestsellers. I already been on on, on morning news. And they and they keep and they, and they keep they keep uh uh inviting me back. I already did that. Mad times. I've been on Pix 11. I've been on MSNBC. I've been on what, I've been on it today. I've been on everything that you can name of God. So, so now, now you owe. Just, just put me on television. I didn't want to do lives, right? But now, I'm on the sideline, right? Because the people in position don't know me. The people in the position haven't seen me, and so they don't know what I could do. I burn down stages. This is passion. I wake up like this. Right. This is what I do. Like God put this in me. I'm not I'm, you know, this is not I'm not bragging about my ability because this is God ability right here. Right. And so now I'm not displaying that. I'm not showing it. And so I'm on the sideline. Like my guy, my guy said, right, I'm on the sideline on a bench. And guess what I'm doing? I'm watching all these other people suiting up, playing triple doubles. Well, I'm on the bench, and I still got I, I I'm at I'm at my prime. Like I could I could dunk still, and I ain't in the game. I ain't in the game. It's cause I'm watching. So now I'm watching everybody. I'm watching. I'm watching. I'm watching cats that I started with, who just blowing past me, cause they was putting in the work. 
And so I said, you know what, God, let me let me let me let me be obedient. I'm a, I'm a, I'm going to be obedient. I'm going to listen. And just like that, being obedient, right? Being obedient, listening, getting rid of my ego. And I said, you know what? I'm going to go live every day. Then as I'm going live every day, I'm realizing my impact. And I'm like, oh, let me let me up this production a little bit. Let me let me hire somebody. Let me do this. Let me do that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I'm, I'm at the Gauchos Riverside Classics bench. You know what I'm saying? On the bench. And An can still drop 30, but, but I'm at the Chos on the bench. But now I acted on the vision. And I and I don't even know. I mean, I not even I don't even know. I know this is just the beginning, right? Because whatever happens with the situation I just told you about, that happened because of my had I not done this, it wouldn't have happened. Right? But I don't I know that there's more there's other blessings because I have other 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 requests, other visions that God has given me. You know what I mean? So um so yeah, that's my word. That's my word, that's my word. Um, you know, you know what I mean? There's a there's a there's a couple of takeaways from that. You know what I'm saying? There's a couple of takeaways from that. Uh but 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 the but the main the main message is focusing on your goal gives you a 50-50 shot of achievement. Focusing on the process guarantees your success. And so if you are, if you want to guarantee your success, then make sure you're focusing on the process. All right. Uh, we got, we got some time for some news. Uh, let me make sure I, I get, I mean, make sure I get this news out here. Uh, and then we'll, we'll, if we have time, then we'll focus on the questions as well. Um, and so, so today in the markets, uh, the markets, uh, or as of close of business yesterday, uh, NASDAQ was down 2.13%. Uh, S&P 500 was down 0.93 percent. Dow Jones Industrial Average was up 0.04 percent. Gold was up 0.14 percent. Ten-year Treasury was down 2.1 basis points. Oil was down 2.3 uh, four percent. Um, stock futures rise ahead of big bank earnings. So U.S. stock futures were higher earlier on Tuesday, uh, pointing to a positive open. As investors await earning reports from some of the nation's largest banks, so Dow Futures indicated an opening gain of more than 100 points, while futures contracts uh, for the S&P 500 and Nasdaq 100 uh, also traded in the positive uh, direction. Um, and, 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 and another investor news, um, 10,000 day traders uh, an hour are buying Tesla shares. So Robinhood users can't get enough of Tesla. About 40,000 Robinhood accounts added shares of the automaker during a single four-hour uh, span on Monday, according to the website's uh, robintrack.net, um, which compiles data on investing uh, platforms that much uh, beloved by day trading and millennials. The one-day return uh, may not turn out so well. Tesla was up as much as 16% at one point before uh, pairing gains through the day and finishing 3% lower. Uh, it was a rare losing uh, for the high-flying stock, which has surged 56% over the past 10 days. I even uh, remember watching something or reading something uh, that Elon Musk uh, actually passed Jeff Bezos as the richest guy, you know what I'm saying? So, um, so that, so that's, you know, so, so, so salute there, but I will say, be careful, um, with following that because I think that's the difference. That's what's happening right now in the markets, um, is that there are a lot of people because of the, the economy, uh, there are a lot of people who are just, um, or who are not, uh, sophisticated investors, meaning that they, they're first time investors or whatever, um, and they're just buying based on what they believe uh, is a good stock. And I'm not saying Tesla's not a good stock, um, but just make sure that if you are going to be investing, that you do your research on the company um, and that you're just not following the crowd. Because, you know, we talked about this earlier, how um, uh, Hertz, Hertz filed for bankruptcy, but then people started still buying and buying and buying and buying it driving a number up where the SEC had to step in and say, yo, you can't sell no more stock because y'all, y'all, y'all got debt. So even if, if y'all get all the money in the world, there's no way you could pump life back into this company. Um, and so just make sure that, you know, that you're just not following what's, what's trendy. Fast shout out to my, my girl, Grace the DJ. Um, 
All right, so the COVID-19 pandemic uh, and resulting economic crash have caused the greatest health insurance losses in American history. Uh, because of job losses between February and May of this year, uh, 5.4 uh, million laid-off workers became uninsured. Uh, these recent increases in the number of uninsured adults are 39% higher than any annual increase ever recorded. The highest previous increase took place over the one-year period from 2008 to 2009 when 3.9 million non-elderly adults became uninsured, right? So, um, yeah, that's happening. Uh, in other news, Wells Fargo tells employees to delete TikTok from their uh, company devices. Um, and so Wells, Wells Fargo has banned the social media app TikTok from company devices amid what it says are concerns about security. Uh, in a statement to CNN Business on Monday, a Wells Fargo spokesperson said the company uh, had identified a small number of employees with corporate-owned uh, devices who had installed the TikTok ac application. I, I, that's even odd because I remember working at banks and I used to have like bank phones and all that. Like I, I never, um, we couldn't download like Facebook or uh, what's the uh, what was the other MySpace. We couldn't do that. They actually blocked it. So I'm shocked that they they would even have, um, you know, let people do that. Um, this is this is a this is a, a weird uh, story. Um, I'll be sure. Uh, says his ex Kim Porter was murdered. And drops Diddy's name in a bizarre IG post. This was weird, right? And so y'all know uh, November of 2018, uh, Kim Porter, who uh, was you know Diddy's ex, and then also um, I'll be sure uh, is uh, ex. Uh, they have a son together, Quincy, which uh, you know I guess Diddy's like the dad or whatever or stepdad for. Um, he's saying that uh, he believes that that she didn't die from pneumonia; that she was actually murdered. Um, and so Diddy's uh, ex-girlfriend, uh, Kim Porter, passed away in November 2018. Uh, the L.A. County Coroner's Office released the cause of death as low, low bar pneumonia as uh, infl inflammation of an entire lobe of the lungs. But I'll be sure Por uh, Porter's ex and father of her eldest son, Quincy, has his own theory. Um, so, yeah, I was uh, that, that was weird. That was weird. Um he was dropping some names. He didn't really say why he thought. Like he didn't really say uh, why he thought that it was mur that she that was homicide. He just said, "I'm gonna leave it here." Um, you know, in in the video on his uh, Instagram, he you know he obviously looks distraught. Um, but yeah, that was that was just weird. Um, and then lastly, speaking of murder, uh, um, speaking of murdered, um, they have uh. Uh, caught up with uh, Pop Smoke's um, alleged murderers, um, and so the two men. So it was it was four four people who are being alleged uh, to kill uh, Pop Smoke. Rest, you know, God rest the dead. Uh, two men and two teens who allegedly killed Pop Smoke have been slapped with murder charges, and while a death penalty is in play, uh, prosecutors haven't decided yet to seek it. The L.A. County District Attorney's Office announced criminal charges against the 19-year-old Corey Walker and 18-year-old uh, Keandre Rogers, uh, who were each charged with murder with special circumstances alleged uh, allegations that the killing went down during the commission of a robbery and a burglary. Um, with the spe special uh, circumstances, the death penalty is on the table. The DA's office uh, adds that the gang and gun affiliations were made in their complaint as well. On top of those two, a separate pair of teenagers, the youngest, the youngest being 15, yo, 15 and the oldest 17, were also charged with one count of murder and robbery in juvenile court. <sighs> their names weren't released as they're still minors yo that's that hurt my heart and i and i actually uh heard that um that they they didn't even know it was pop smoke like it was it was a, like an accident it was just that you know pop smoke um accidentally posted his address you know what i'm saying on social media uh while he went shopping and they just happened to see it you know what i'm saying they wanted to you know what i'm saying they wanted to uh you know what i mean catch, catch a lick you know what i mean catch a lick um and so a uh, couple, couple of messages here, a couple of things is that, number one, uh, be careful while while you're posting on social media. Be careful about what you post on social media. Um, I don't, you know, I mean, now that we're quarantined, it really doesn't matter. But a lot of times, 
Um, like I don't go live unless it's like a public, you know what I mean? Like I go live in my house because you know what I'm saying? Like I, I wish it, I wish it more would. No, I'm joking. Um, you know, I'll go, I'll go, um, live in my house. But like, if I'm out and about, um, a lot of times I won't go live unless it's a public event, right? Unless I told people, yo, I will be at this spot. Uh, I won't go live like, yo, I'm in. Yo, I'm in Walmart for, you know, I'm, yo, I'm eating at this place. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, if I post pictures, sometimes I do it after the fact. Like, I'm really careful because you just don't know. You know what I'm saying? You just never know, um, you know, what people are, you know, what people want, want to do. Um, and, and to the point of, um, you know, like, um, you know, to that point where, um, you know, I, you know, I, I purposely don't uh, brag about anything. Um, I mean, there's nothing to brag about, you know, at the end of the day. When you got God's favor, you got God's favor, you know what I'm saying? Um, and your vision is your vision. And so, um, you know, as far as, like, bragging and showing money and doing all that stuff, like, nah, that's not... I never thought that was cool. I don't think it's cool. Um, and so I think that when you got God's favor, you have God's favor, you know what I'm saying? I know that some people do it, you know, as a way to... Um, you know, entice people to buy their stuff. You know what I'm saying? So like, you know, people show their cars and show what they got and all that stuff. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like V Good says, keep it low. Uh, let the work be high. Yeah, like I, you know, at the end of the day, I'll be honest with y'all. Uh, whether I had a, a negative balance in my bank account or if I had ten million dollars in my bank account, like I'm like that. That doesn't def define what I teach. That doesn't define how I inspire and motivate. Like that doesn't. That's not. A barometer and so I so for the life of me it it, it doesn't it, it, it does baffle me though it baffles me that for the life of me that people will will care about um like yo like oh let me see this car like somebody could be somebody could be showing you a a, a Benz or a Bentley and could be in debt like getting a Bentley does not mean you got money yo like show me your bank account please don't show me like, yo, I just, I just, you know, I just, I just got blessed with this Bentley. Okay, dope. You, you got good credit. You could get in debt. And I'm not saying all people, right? Some people could buy it cash. Like, I remember, you know, like when um, Cardi B uh, bought, bought the Bentley truck in cash and showed her bank account. You know what I'm saying? And people were like, give her flack behind that. But I, but I respect that better than, you know what I'm saying? Like people just showing, you know, the car and not, you know what I mean? You could, you could rent. You can rent a Bentley, you know that. Like you could, you could take a thousand dollars and rent a Bentley for a day. You know what I'm saying? So like, you don't, you don't need to. You know what I'm saying? You don't need that. All right, um, that's it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Right, show me your balance sheet statement. Right, show me, show me your, you know, show me your profit and loss. You know what I mean? Show me your schedule C. If you know, you know. Show me your schedule C. You know what I'm saying? Um, all right, I, we may have some. I think they're gonna kick me out in like four minutes. Um, so we, we do, we might have some questions. Uh, let me just salute my, my, my folks on, uh, the YouTube, right? So we got, we got Carmela Mosley, salute Carmela, uh, on YouTube, checking in. My guy, Guy Jazzy Rainey on Facebook, checking in. Cassandra Poe, checking in. We got, uh, Butter Beans Cool on YouTube, checking in. We got, uh, Sanella Hill on, uh, YouTube, checking in. Stacy Ray Richardson, salute, salute on Facebook, ch checking in. Uh, we got Oasis Seven One Eight, uh, checking in on YouTube. We got Scorpio Pharrell, salute, salute uh, on YouTube, checking in. PK Dixon, what up, what up, sis? We got PK Dixon checking in on Facebook. Jeremy Anthony Maynard checking in on Facebook. We got Annie Oakley on on YouTube checking in. Uh, salute, salute, salute. Um, all right. So somebody asked, I, I won't shout you out, but somebody asked, what's the schedule, schedule C? Uh, so if you have a, if you have a business, uh, if you have a business, uh, and you're L, uh, like an LLC, um, a LLC is, is called a disregarded entity. And so that money that you make from the LLC gets passed on from your LLC to you as an individual. Uh, and that money that you report is called a, a schedule C, right? And so a schedule C is the money that you, um, that you report. So when I say show me your schedule C, don't 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 show me your 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 Stripe and PayPal you know notifications because how much did you have to spend to get that money? Show me your schedule C. Show me show me if it's real. Um, the YouTube channel is AshCashTV.com. So if you go to AshCashTV.com, 
uh, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, and you'll see the theatrics, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is, you know what I mean? We got the we got the lower third. We got the, you know what I'm saying? We got the, the CNN looking like t uh, ticker, you know what I'm saying? So we, we got the whole production on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, all that good stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, Instagram doesn't just have a way to, to multi-tap, multi-screen. Um, and so that so that's why um, I, I do the, the separate uh, feed on Instagram. So once we figure that out, then we're going we gonna to be lit, lit, you know what I'm saying? Um, all right, let's see if I got any other questions. No doubt, no doubt, Scorpio. Uh, let's see. So, Elegant Eleanor says, if there is a, all right, there we go, because I didn't answer this yesterday, so I ain't going to miss it twice. Uh, if there's a delinquent, uh, credit card on my credit report, but it was eventually paid off, can I request a negative item, uh, to be removed, or does it have to, I'm assuming that you're, you're saying that does it have to wait? Um, yes, you can, re so the thing is, is that once it's paid off, um, you know, you kind of, prove that it's yours like you kind of prove that um it you know it's yours but 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 i would say after it's paid off uh it doesn't hurt to try to get it removed right because it's it's still hurting your credit it does, it's not helping your credit and so what i would do is i would send a um a, a letter to the credit bureaus not the credit eight not the person who has it on there not the creditor but i would send it to the credit bureaus i would go to uh, equifax experian and transunion um and ask them for you know do what's called a verification letter verification letter just says yo if you're saying that this is my debt right if you're saying that this is my debt can you prove that it's my debt you know what i'm saying and so yeah if you um you know if you go and ask for a verification letter What's going to happen is that the three bureaus, are, and you say it's an error, like it was, it was, it's not supposed to be on there, it's supposed to be, you know, it's supposed to fall off. Um, now, once you, uh, yeah, so, so Philippe, Wall Street Philippe says uh, she should have had got a paid as agreed before paying the old debt. Absolutely, right? I never, never, never tell anybody to pay off old debt without getting uh, a paid as agreed or, or getting them to agree to, uh, uh, take it off of your credit report. If they don't do that, then you're, you're, you're wasting your money, right? But this is after the fact. You've done it already. And so now ask for a verification letter. Uh, and what they'll do is uh, they're going to, um, they're going to um, um, verify that it's your debt. Because it's paid off, most creditors are not even going to answer it, and if they don't answer it, they have to take it off. So, so, so I, would, I would just go uh, for a verification letter and see how that works. Um, all right, y'all, uh, my bad again, because I think I got, is there ever, ever a good reason to close a credit card? Uh, the real Scott Randall, they got to kick me out. So I'm gonna answer this one real quick. Uh, is there ever a good reason to close out a credit card? No, uh, because if you close out a credit card, um, you're shrinking your usage ratio. And then if, if it's a, if it's a credit card that has good credit history, you're getting rid of that credit history, which is 15% of your score, uh, your, um, Usage ratio is 30% of your score, so that's 45% of your score that you're kind of uh, messing with by closing out, oh, oh, even the 35%, which is a payment history, so it's, you know, that's a lot, <laughs> that's a lot percentage of your score. Um, so, yeah, I don't think that there's a good reason to close out your credit card unless, yeah, I don't think that there's a good reason. I think you should keep them. Um, all right, y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank y'all for tuning in and tapping in the Ash Cash Show every Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Go to the AshCashShow.com to subscribe to the podcast. Go to AshCashTV.com to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Go to MailboxMoneyAcademy.com. Make sure y'all uh, apply for Mailbox Money. We had our first mastermind last night. It was dope. Um, yo, V good. We, we missed you last night. Uh, but we, we, we had our first mastermind. It was dope. A lot of inspiration, a lot of positivity. So go to mailboxmoneyacademy.com. I love y'all. I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. Same time, same place. Peace.